Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to our at home body weight program. Today is day two of week four, the final week of the month. So we want to make sure that we finish strong. Today, our skill work is going to be all about fast hands. We have a fun figure eight drill for you guys. Our workout today is a full body circuit. Great moves in that as well. Let's get started on one of the most important parts of the warm up. So today we're going to start with what we call just a karate kick. This is going to challenge your single leg balance, your body coordination, your hip mobility. Okay, so go ahead and hold on to a couch, a table, a wall. You could do this without any of these, but it's going to be extremely challenging, especially if you've never done this before. So we advise something to help you out. So we're going to lift our knee up. From here, we're going to turn our foot that's on the ground. So we're going to rotate it as we kick. And you'll notice here, as Chris and I kick, we're kicking through the heel, really trying to lock out the leg, maybe even pull the toes back towards your face, bring that knee back towards your body, and then set it back down. We're going to go five reps on each side. Okay, if you get a couple extra in here with us, that's perfectly okay. But let's try to get at least five. Again, move slow. This bottom foot is going to pivot so that the toes turn from facing forward to facing to the side. And then you can see that our upper body is actually just kind of leaning to the side, but we keep our spine long, so we still have this proud chest. Good work, good work. That was five. We'll switch up sides here. You guys can just turn around. If you've got that again, we're gonna go knee up, rotate, and kick through the heel. Good, pull that knee back towards your body. That's one. Again, we go knee up, pivot the bottom foot, allow that chest to turn to the side. That's two. Now let's see if we can keep our eyes on our toes here. Three, there you go. Two more. Kick through the heel, pull the toes back towards your face. Excellent job, last one. <laughs> good work, good work. Now, again, you can try that later without some assistance. That's a great one. We're moving into some lateral reaches next, getting the upper body here. So let's go feet, about hip or shoulder width apart. We're gonna take one hand, reach it across our belly. The other hand comes up and overhead, and then we come back to the center. Again, we go one hand across the belly, the other hand comes up and over. And I just want you to notice how Christian's allowing his hips to push right and left. Okay, so keep this soft and in your knees. Drag your hips side to side as much as you feel comfortable with. Let's go five times each way. So 10 total reaches. Now as you reach, see if you can take the bend out of your elbows. Really reach through those fingertips. Keep that neck nice and long. And as usual, continue to breathe. Hopefully feeling this stretch right here through the lateral portion of your body. Nicely done. Good, shake that off. We're going with some vertical rotations next. So we're gonna start from the floor, work our way up here, meaning the ankles are gonna move, the knees are gonna move, and the hips are going to shift as we look and reach directly behind us. So again, just be nice and fluid here, allowing the lower body to start this movement and then the upper body follows. And we're thinking tall through the top of our head, long neck, and you can see Christian is just keeping his hands or his elbows at shoulder height. And we're allowing our eyes to follow our fingers as we reach directly behind us. Again, we're gonna go five times each way. Beautiful job. Shake that off. Let's do that a little bit more freely, a little bit more loose, just rotating over the toes and allowing the hips to rotate here again, tall through the top of the head as the arms just hug your body. Whoops. Move inside to side. We'll go for another 10 seconds here. Again, just allowing the feet to pivot. Good. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Next up, we're going with a down dog to a mountain climber. So I'll have Christian demo this one first as I explain, and then I'll jump in a little bit. Down dog, arms are straight. We're pressing our hands into the floor. Open up those fingers wide from this down dog position. Step one foot up to a mountain climber. Find that length in your spine, take a breath, and then push back. Other side is going to step up on the next rep. So again, come back to that down dog. Soft bend in the knees. Find that length through your hamstrings as you lift your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Again, breathe and move. I'm gonna jump in for a couple here. We've got our down dog. Is always that starting point into a mountain climber. And if you wanna lift the same side hand here, you can or really press through the floor as we find that extension. I know I'm a little tight in my hip, 
So I like to take my hand yeah. right, right against my knee, push. and I can push my elbow against my knee and push my knee against my elbow before I push on back. Yes, I like that as well. And again, you can step wide. You can bring that foot right next to your hand. But just try to take a moment to pause and breathe here. Again, we're gonna go 10 total, five on each side, but there's nothing wrong with grabbing an extra rep or two. If you wanna add any rotation, you can, so we can rotate up towards the ceiling, maybe even rotate away if we feel comfortable. Again, this is your warm up, your body. We just wanna give you an outline to follow. Continue to breathe, hopefully feeling that heart rate get up just a little bit, that body temperature jump up just a little bit on these. Nicely done. Awesome job. Can you shake that off? Next up, we're going with some lateral shuffles. So this is something that we worked on in our skill of the day. We're gonna throw it into our warm up now. So we can just face one another. Remember on the lateral shuffles, we wanna keep our torso, our chest, going in the direction that we're pushing to. We don't wanna go over to the outside of the leg that we're stopping on, okay? So just kinda of keep control of that center of mass. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, right to left, okay? Three, two, one. Now again, you can start slow, get the hang of it here, and then you can start to speed it up. I'll let you know where we're at. About 10 seconds down. Nice. Okay, you don't need a whole lot of space. I can stay right here. Or if you've got the space, use it. 10 more seconds. Nice job. Good. Three, two, one. Take a little breather. Again, taking something that we've worked on as a skill of the day and now applying it, coming back to that. We're gonna go with lateral skiers next. It's a little single leg hop. Will you demo one each way, Christian? Beautiful. Awesome. Man, really sticking that landing. So find a little bit of space. Again, we'll face one another. We've got 30 seconds here. Three, two, one. Again, we want to load up our backside. So it's okay that the chest drops and we push our hips back. If you need this other leg to come and help you out, that's okay right now. But if you feel comfortable, you want to challenge yourself, lift that opposite foot. So we're just working on that single leg landing. Single leg jump, good, keep moving. 10 more seconds. Beautiful, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. We're gonna go into our Frankenstein kicks next, hitting the hamstrings here. 30 seconds to work, three, two, one. So just take a moment now, slow down your breath. Again, we're gonna rotate the eyes, rotate the chest as we kick. Bringing opposite hand to toe. Really getting that leg up there today. Yep. Oh, yeah. Woo. Nicely done. If you guys have been following along with this every single day, hitting this warm up with this, hopefully your hamstrings and your hips are starting to feel a little bit more loose, mm -hmm. a little bit more mobile and flexible. Awesome job. Three, two, one. Good. Let's shake that off. Next up, we're going to go with our squat to our knee pull. We're going to move slow on this one, okay? So we'll come down to a squat and then just pull our knee up to our chest. Again, working on that single leg balance. That's something that we love to challenge you guys with. And hopefully you're feeling like it's getting better. Let's keep moving, keep breathing nice and slow. We'll move for about 20 more seconds. So take your time. See how long you can pause at the top for the single leg balance right here. Nice. Beautiful job. About 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. And last but not least, we're gonna do a hinge with a shoulder rotation. So getting the upper body involved here. Let's have you a turn to the side cushion just to show one rep and then we'll knock them out. So we go soft bend in the knees. We reach, we're gonna rotate hands to hips and then hands back overhead. Awesome job, then stand tall. Again, we go soft bend in the knees. We reach where our thumbs are up and then we rotate thumbs down and thumbs up again and then back overhead. That's two, let's keep moving, let's get 10 and then we're done with our warm up. Three, good, again, as we hinge, we're feeling the stretch in our hamstrings, our spine stays long. 
When we get to the top, proud chest, belly's tight, squeeze your booty. Awesome work. You could always try to challenge yourself with a single leg hinge on these, or just come back to both feet on the ground, depending on how spicy you want to make it today. Good work, good work. Let's finish out our 10 reps, and then we'll move into our fun skill of the day. Awesome job. How are you feeling? Feel great. Feel good warmed up. Yep, awesome work. All righty, everybody. So this is the point now for the skill of the day. If you guys have a ball, please go ahead and grab that, okay? And now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to see how many figure eights we can get done in 20 seconds. Now we're gonna do three rounds of this right here, right? The first round and the last round, we're gonna be going through the front direction. What we mean by front is I'm gonna go through the front of my body every single time that I transition from hand to hand. Every time I transition from one hand to the next, that's one rep. This is two reps, this is three reps. So we gotta be able to sit in that stance, right? In that bottom athletic position, in a very stable position. We gotta be able to hold that as we move as quick as we can from hand to hand. Now, Natalie's gonna go in the first round. I'm gonna cheer her on, and then after that, I'll jump in with you guys, okay? Let's count how many times you transition from hand to hand. 20 seconds right here in three, Two, one, and as quick as you can. Two, three, four, five, six. Great job, Matt. Keep going. Nine, ten. Keep going. Nine, Twelve. Almost there, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Halfway to it. Ten seconds down. We're almost there. Keep it up, Natalie. Keep it up back at home. Four, three, two, one. Great job. Take a second to breathe. Now, what'd you get? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Dang. Trying to show us up. I like that. Now, guys, we got two more rounds. Now this next round, we're gonna go from behind. So now we're gonna transition the ball from behind our body. Sound good? 20 seconds, y'all. Three, two, one, here we go. Here we go, guys, come on. Keep breathing, keep moving, we're almost there, guys. Keep pushing yourself. Once you get the groove of it, then just try to pick up your speed a little bit more. Almost there. Five, four, three, Two, one, awesome work, everybody. I'm not gonna lie, I think I got like 35, 36, but I kind of stopped counting when I was trying to keep up with the timer. I got 31, so that one was a little slow for me. Awesome, I like it. Guys, we got one more time. Now as a challenge, maybe don't look down at the ball, look up now. Sound good? Round three, guys. Three, two, one, and here we go. Ooh, ooh, I already got off on a weird mark. It's okay though, gain your composure. If you mess up and the ball ooh, goes away, don't worry about it. Keep going. You did not fail. There is no such thing as failure. Five, four, three. Oh, there it is. Two, one. Awesome work, guys. If you're like me and you lost the ball a couple times, that means that you were pushing yourself and getting into an area of discomfort. That's usually where we see growth. So don't ever think about, even when we're doing our exercises, if you can't do it, and, or you can't do a movement yeah. that looks like our movement, or you can't do as many reps or rounds as we completed. That's not a loss, that's not a failure, okay? We just continue to get better every single day. All we ask is for your consistency and your effort. That's all we can control, okay? Plus, I love when there is something that goes wrong in a drill, the mental challenge of being able to quickly just get right back into what you were doing and not get hung up on the failure part, right? There is no such thing as failure, like Christian mentioned, but it's training you to be able to just recover really quickly. So, 100%, excellent. I love that, I love that. Okay guys, let's get into our workout of the day. Let's try each movement first, and then we'll start it up. It's a circuit. So we got four different movements, back to back to back, with 10 seconds of rest in between each movement, okay? Now, first thing we have, Natalie's gonna demo this first here, is our lateral lunge. So she'll show you a lateral lunge, one knee bent, one leg locked out, into a reverse lunge. So the same leg that stepped out to the side is the same leg, same leg that's gonna go behind. And then she's gonna alternate and do the same deal next side. So try this out with us. Lateral lunge, come up, and then step back, reverse lunge. Now, can you show them how we can make this a little bit more easier? From lateral, we can step our foot down and then go reverse, making this harder 
we can go with the lateral and then not step in the middle as we transition. Boom, right? So just like we did in our warm-up, we're trying to see how long we can hold that knee pull. It's the same thing here. As you transition from lateral to reverse, maybe try to see how long you can hold before you drop back, okay? Mm -hmm. Now the next thing we have is an alternating tripod reach. So Natalie's gonna be here on the ground. She's gonna have both of her butt cheeks flat on the ground. I got my feet flat and I got my hands flat back behind me. Now from here, we're gonna pop our hips on up and then what Natalie's gonna do is then she's gonna come down towards the ground and then rotate her hand back behind her. Now guys, we've done this a couple times in month one and we wanna give you a little bit of a challenge. So if you feel like, ah, this is starting to feel a little bit easier. Nat, can you show them how we can transition from one side to the next? Woo, spicy. Yeah, so tripod, before you put your hips on the ground, Nat's gonna push her weight forward into a squat and then she'll go over to the next side. Look at that, no hips are touching the ground. Maybe you do a couple reps. Maybe you don't do any reps like this. That's okay. But as we continue to progress, just know this is where we're going to take it. Okay? Thank Great you. job, Natalie. Thank you. Now what we have next is an alternating single leg hinge into a runner's lunge. Again, we're going to be challenging our balance today. Okay? Now, Nat is gonna, what Nat's going to do is she's going to go one foot on the ground, and she's going to push back through her hamstring and hip. So this is a hinge here, almost like a deadlift, right? Now from here, see how her knee bends and her chest come down at the same time. She reaches her back leg back, boom, we are now in our sprinter's lunge with our knee forward and our front foot flat. From there, she's gonna drive off her front foot and come up tall. Now, she's gonna go ahead and alternate. So she's gonna show you her neck side. Now guys, how can we make this harder? Is when you come down, do not rely on this foot. I mean, you could put it down and give yourself a little balance, that's okay. But when Natalie comes up, she might take her foot off the ground first before she comes up. So this could really be a whole single leg drill the whole time, up to you guys, okay? Last thing we have is a burpee sprawl. Nat is gonna go through her squat. She's gonna go hands on the ground, drive her feet back as she squeezes her hips brings her hips back on up and do that squat and then comes up tall. Now, you can jump your feet back. Can you show them real quick? We can jump our feet back, jump our feet up, or we can walk our feet back and we can walk our feet up. So you guys get to choose and pick, okay, everybody? Don't worry about which movement was first, second, third. We got you guys on that one, okay? 35 seconds for each movement. The first thing we have, and I'm gonna face the side, and that will face you guys, is we're gonna go lateral lunge to reverse lunge, okay? 35 seconds. Three, two, one, and here we go. Awesome work, everybody. Again, once you come to the middle, then that's your cue to alternate sides, okay? Again, lateral into that reverse, perfect. Again, lateral into that reverse, perfect. Great job, Matt. Again, try to bow, or try to challenge your balance and your stability when you switch from one edge to the next, okay? 10 more seconds, guys. Here we go, continue to breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody, we're on the ground. We have our tripod. Nat is gonna show you level two though, okay? Three, two, one, and here we go. I'm gonna put my hips on the ground and switch. Natalie is showing you how we can make this more challenging. We can go no hips on the ground as we transition from side to side. Continue to breathe, continue to move here. Doing great, my bad, Nat. <laughs> great job, y'all, keep it going, guys. About 10 more seconds left. Keep breathing, keep moving here. Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody, let's stand up tall. So we got our hinge into that sprinter's lunge, okay? Remember, load up your front foot. Let's alternate from side to side. Three, two, one, and here we go. We go hinge, knee bend, chest comes down. Once I get to the bottom, I drive off my front foot and then switch up sides. Hamstring first, then I hit my hydraulics, and then I come on up. And I can use my hands, guys, as much as we need to. Awesome, maybe I don't use my back leg. Again, you can use that back leg as much as you need to for your balance, or don't use it at all. Awesome work, Matt. You too. 
Ooh, need my hands on that one. 10 more seconds, guys. Here we go. Keep breathing. Come back up. Four, three, two, one. And awesome job. Guys, burpee sprawls. We're going to finish out round one right here. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squat, sprawl, squat. Yeah, so Nat is going to step her feet. I'm going to hop my feet back and hop my feet up. Remember, you guys get to choose which level you want to work at here today. Always coming back to that squat position. Remember, we go squat, sprawl, squat, up. Here we go, guys. Ten seconds. Come on. Keep it up. Let's finish out round one strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Great job, Nadia. Great, Great job back at home. We got two more rounds just like that, okay? A reverse lunge mm -hmm. into a uh, lateral lunge, okay? Three, two, one. Lateral, reverse. Perfect. Lateral, and reverse. Perfect. Here we go, guys. Keep breathing. Ooh, I'm not even alternating. <laughs> it's okay, though. Then I'm going to do three on the next side. So, if you're like me, you forgot to alternate sides. That's okay. Get about three on one side, and then get three with the next leg. That's okay. Now I'm going to alternate. Ten more seconds, guys. All about being flexible, adaptable. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. We're on the ground here now, guys. We have our tripod, the reach. Hips or no hips on the ground, okay? Three, two, one, here we go. We can reach up or now we can reach behind us. So now you can take your hand in a different position. We can go directly behind us. I'm gonna challenge myself and not put my hips on the ground. Here we go. Great job, Natalie. Mm -hmm. Definitely use that bottom hand to help propel us and push us yep. into this low squat. Ten more seconds, guys. Nice Here we go. Keep breathing, guys. Keep driving those hips up. Push your heels into the ground every time. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Hinge into that sprinter's lunge, okay? Round two. I said three. This is not two. <laughs> three, two, one, and here we go. Hinge, right into that lunge. Back foot down, come up tall. Again, hinge. Ooh, Ooh. man, <laughs> trying to throw me off. Going down, coming up tall. Again, hamstring first, and then slowly challenge the hip and the ankle. Again, hamstring first, slowly hit the hydraulics to your chest, and your hips come down together. Not one before the other. Again, shoulders ooh, and hips work together. Five, ooh, four, three, two, one. Awesome, guys. Finishing up round two, our squat sprawl. Okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squat sprawl. Now, if I want, I'll add a jump at the top. Ooh, get a little active now here at the very top. How quick can you move from the ground, then getting back up off the ground? Quick feet, quick breath, quick hands. Nice. Keep it up, keep it up, come on. Here we go. Here we go, Matt. Here we go back at home, guys. Ten seconds. Come on, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Awesome work. One more round, guys. We got one more round. Everyone take a big inhale. Slow exhale. Okay. Last time for the day. Lateral to reverse lunge. Three, two, one, and here we go. Nice. I like that balance, Nat. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Challenge yourself. Oh. Nice. Here we go. There it is. Here we go. Awesome work, everybody. We're more than halfway through it. Here we go. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Almost on. Reverse. Reverse. 
drives. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job, everybody. On the ground. Try pause. Remember, no hips or hips off the ground. Okay? Three, two, one. Reach behind me. Or I can reach on straight up. Reach behind me. Or I can reach on up. Up to you guys right here. Keep it up. Good. Nice control. Okay, we're breathing as we move. We're really trying to keep these knees in line with our toes too, and not allowing the knees you know, to fall too far inside or outside. Just like we would in a squat if we were standing tall. Less than 10 seconds, guys. Here we go, y'all. Keep it up. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Two more movements. Great job. Hinge into that lunge, okay? Last time. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hinge into that lunge. Hinge into that lunge. Nice. Awesome job, y'all. Here we go. We're almost there, guys. Keep it up. Ooh. Keep my balance. Hinge. Hey, guys, remember to keep on breathing and keep feeding your front foot. There you go. Keep driving that front foot into the ground as much as you can. Remember, that back leg is really just there for a little bit of assistance. If we don't need it, then don't use it, okay? Here we go, guys. Almost there. Ten more seconds left. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. Awesome work, everybody. Shake that off. Last thing we have is our burpee sprawl here, okay? Five, four, three, two, one. Squat, sprawl. Remember, you can add that jump at that top position, guys. Woo! Here we go, Nat. Come on, guys. Come on, ladies. Everyone watching, keep up with us. Let's go. Come on. Last time for the day. Challenge yourself a little bit. Push yourself. Don't let your mind stop you now. 10 seconds. Here we go. Final push. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, Natalie, everyone watching, great job. Awesome work today. That is our workout. But again, our workout, just because the workout's in this doesn't mean this whole thing is done. We got to decompress. Let's bring our heart rate down. Natalie will take you through the rest of this workout. Thank Got you. That. Excellent job, you guys. If you have some water, grab that water, towel off. When you're ready, we're gonna make our way down to the ground today. We're gonna take a couple breaths. Then we're gonna go into our twisting lat stretch. Okay, so we've got our hands under our shoulders here, our knees under our hips. We're gonna reach our left hand in front of our right. Palm is on the ground, and then we'll rotate thumb up towards the ceiling, pushing that pinky finger into the floor as we bring that elbow down close to the ground, kind of slightly pulling your hips back. Let's take an inhale, exhale. Two more times. Coming back to the center. And then we'll switch up sides. We'll go right hand in front of the left, rotate over the pinky side of your hand. Again, the elbow's gonna come close to the ground, if not to the ground. We'll come right here, challenge you this time to breathe only through your nose. Three inhales, three exhales. Try to make those exhales even longer on these next two. Last time. Beautiful, y'all. We're gonna go down to our belly for a floor scorpion next. So we'll go hands out to the side. We'll look at our right fingertips, bend our right knee, rainbow this leg up and over. We're gonna put this foot close to our opposite leg, foot flat on the ground as we take three inhales, three exhales here. As you do so, try to relax your head on the ground. Try to drive your knee up towards the ceiling. Good, taking your time, we'll come back to the center. 
We'll look at the left fingertips. Bend that left leg, bring it up and over. Last three breaths here. And just really slowing things down. Trying to release any tension, any stress with each exhale. And when you're done, we'll come back up. You guys can stay seated, you can stand tall, whatever works best for you. But again, give yourself a little pat on the back. Excellent job. Hard work today, y'all, and we appreciate that. We'll leave you with our journal prompt for the day. Today is all about kindness. I want you to make a list of acts of kindness. So things that you could do for others that would be nice, right? And maybe you even add some things on the list that you could do for yourself because it's really important that we take care of ourselves before we start to take care of others. So I want you to make a list of acts of kindness. This can be anywhere from three to 10 things or as long as you would like it to be. And then I want you to choose one, at least one that you can do today. Share that out with your family members, your friends, share it with us y'all. We would love to see that. We thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you back here tomorrow.